Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. So uh, tonight I'll be creating a card featuring the Happy Little Things bundle paired with lovely and sweet bundle and the gorgeous... Um, Gorgeous garden dies. So if you are watching the replay, do fast forward to the demonstration. If you prefer us, we'll say hello to those of you who joined us live. Thank or as you so I said, much. first time around, click the chapters down below. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, yes. So thank you so much. Tommy's oop, on the microphone. <laughs> we've got technology problems. We've got cat problems. Oh, dear. <laughs> So yes, so uh, we have, oh, no, nope. everything's on the floor. <laughs> wow. So anyway, uh, hello, Charlotte. Uh, uh, can you just do that? I don't know what's happening because Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's going to touch stuff now and we don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's whirling away. <laughs> can you see us? Okay. It looks fine, but... Do let us know, uh, because as soon as Tommy jumped up, um, it went funny. <laughs> it stopped no. as soon as he went up. We might have to call this as a bit of a um, no-show this evening if we can't get this working. I think it's okay. Have a look at the chat. It, it looks like we are there. Um, we are back. Fine. Okay. Okay. Oh. So, looks like we're there. So, um, yeah, so where did we get up to? So, we're going to say, say hi hello. to some people, aren't we? <laughs> Lovely. So, we have Charlotte, hello, Linda, Valerie, uh, Sandra, John, uh, Cheryl, Kathy, um, Mardi, hello, hello, Pauline. We also have um, Mary Lou, Joanna, um, Tilly Crafts uh, by Karen, Carol Ann, uh, Vicky, Debs, and who else have we got? Uh, I think that's everyone. Valerie, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really do not know whether or not we are on or not. So um, just crack on. We will... Um, I think we'll just go down, camera down, and um, crack on with the demonstration and see how this works, pans out. Yes. yes. <laughs> right. So, happy little things. Um, it's everywhere. So, this one is an online exclusive. It does come with two dies as a bundle. The banner dies. I will be using that later. And lovely and sweet, which we had our card class uh, last night and an online coloring masterclass last month. So replays are available. I'm going to be using the vanilla flower, of course, with that. Uh, it comes with the dice as well. So I'm, I'll be using the small flourishes tag and of course the, of the vanilla. Let there be light. And then finally, the gorgeous garden, which is um, this one is retiring at the end of April. So if you like this um, background dies, do check that out on our online shop ASAP. So the card that I'll be creating today, I'll be recreating my card for Global Design Project, um, which is shared on their blog. Uh, you can play along and submit your own project. Um, and it is Case the Designer, Nicole from the design team. So I have gone ahead and stamp, actually if I get another paper so I can stamp it. So with the vanilla, I'm gonna be using Memento and stamping that 
on basic white. Which is there. I will be coloring in um, watercolor pencil, so assortment one. And in there, I'll just choose the colors that I have. Um, and that would be a little bit light, maybe. There we go. So adding, I'm just adding light pressure and coloring the petals of the flower. Just go along around. I could always add more later on if needed. So this is Melon Mambo. And I've just, because our craft desk has got a vinyl on it, cover, it's quite coarse on the surface. So I've just added uh, the specialty plate so it's smooth underneath. So that's done. For the middle, I'll use yellow. Daffodil Delight, shall I say. And pumpkin pie. Underneath, just to add some color. Old olive for the leaves. And I forgot to do those buds. I'll just add some more color in a second. So just add a bit of pink on the buds as well. And then fill in the rest with, shall I do yellow? I'll bring it up in a second and then I'll get my water painters out. Just uh, for finally, we have the pods vanilla early espresso. And a lot onto there for shading. And also we can add some basic black. For more intense shading. And mixing the in with the early espresso. Right. Is there enough? Right, uh, what are painters? I'll use the tiny one. <clears throat> I forgot to get myself some tissue. Hopefully it's fine. Some yes, please. <laughs> <coughs> you could also use your, um, if you don't have watercolor, uh, paintbrush even. That's got a tint of green in it, so that's nice. Uh, you can also use your color lifter to spread the color around. Thank you. And also a, a blender pen. I do get on better with the color lifter than water painters or blender pen. Most of the time I do just leave it as is. I actually don't use 
anything to spread them out. I quite like just using it, the watercolor pencils as coloring pencils. So there we go. So I will die cut that. Linda's just asked in the catalog it mentions smoothing watercolour pencils with blender pens. Has anyone tried that? Oh uh, I can quickly um show you whilst I'm here. So that one. I also shared a card with the Fancy Friday design team, uh, past artisan um, group. Another coloring with the Enduring Beauty. So this is the blender pen. It comes in packs of three. So it's just wet. The same as the color lifter because it is wet, but it's alcohol based. So it is, it dries a lot quicker than water or blender pen. Um, and because it's alcohol, it doesn't pull the paper. So if you use the blender pen too much, it makes it furry. Uh, with the color lifter, it just soaks in, in it. So you do get different um, texture as well. And of course, that's the water as well. So if I just have it out as a separate big one. Huh? Oh, it's, it's Lani in. <laughs> Hi, Lani. <laughs> Barry just did the watch. <laughs> so water paint, uh, w water painter brush. There you go. So th three different things. It depends on how you, um, what you feel comfortable using. Um, different medium or kind of like tools, you do need to kind of like, there is a slight learning curve because you, you can kind of like tell how, how much blender pen you need to use, uh, the color lifter, how far out you need to go. And of course the water painter, how much water is, is held in the brushes. Uh, because you don't want it too wet, uh, but that's that one. Well, I'm just gonna put away my watercolor pencil. And do some... Uh, I was gonna die cut, but I, I'm gonna heat emboss first. Because that one's gonna be die cut as well so i have the best day ever in my original i forgot the the die that comes with it so i just cut it by the paper trimmer so i might as well use this one this card is gray granite i'm just preparing it with an embossing body and water Versa mark even. Right, that can dry. There we go. Best day ever. The embossing additions toolkit does have a brush as well. But if you can't get to the really close up area, just get something sharp. Oh, I nearly took out the T. <laughs> All 
right I'll just make sure that's clean put that away put it away put it away put it away now <laughs> right I just get my heat tool and switching it on now Right, let's do some, that should be dry. It wasn't that wet in the first place. So let's do some die cutting. So that one, oh, are you gonna play? I do have a, a few elements to die cut. The Embossing Additions Toolkit. Barry can double check if it's still available. Um, Pauline's asking if you don't mind. Because I do not know on top of my head. There is the last chance um, sale between the 9th and the 30th April 2024. So... Stock may be out of stock for the time sent off, are only available while supplies last. So if it's not in the shop, they're probably sold out. But I believe the additions toolkit, uh, am I pressing continue or recover? Uh, recover. It is still available. It's not retiring. Just wait. So yes, so um, the embo embossing edition tool kit is still available. It's not retiring. So, um, that's still on the website. What else do I need? One, two. Die cut. Oh, and a vellum. I want. Vellum is gone. Sorry. <laughs> But you can choose the basic vellum, which I've got designs on there, which is cool. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back. Okay. So I've just die cut, long, die cut the flourishes and the vellum and then finally I'm die cutting the background die. I'm actually not using all of this. Um, but I might as well just die cut it all. Will that work? I'm too stingy with the paint. Oh well, we'll see. If not, I've got something else. Okay, Pauline. Oh, is it your birthday? Happy birthday, Pauline. So as you can see, it has loads of off cuts. <laughs> Get up in there near you. And where's the brush? There. All right, I'll just clean that up later. It's all on the floor. <laughs> what? 
you just say I'll just clean up later. Uh, that's that's why we have tidy chat chat and tidy. Right. I don't so all of these again um you can use adhesive sheets <laughs> to stick this down. But I just want a side piece. That's it. Or use the take your big tool brush. These ones are okay because they're quite big. That's it. Right. Right, let's finish up the card. <laughs> Another 20 minutes perhaps. So I did, um, I am changing the colors. I've got Flirty Flamingo. I think it works okay, even though my flower did go a bit funny because I had some tint on it, but that's fine. Um, I'll just get on with it. So just before I might layer that, I'm going to add this on the edge. I thought I've done all of them. But I think I did the other end. Oh. So I'll I'll do it that way, actually. That will be better. So as I said, adhesive sheet is your friend if you remember it. But if not, that's fine. Uh, have you seen the... Um, silicon craft sheet? Should be in there. You know I'm like, we're looking, that's fine, I'll have a look. It's in the papers. Right, thank you for coming up. Right, I'll just add that. And a dober full of cat hairs. Oh well. So... Just add this. I'm just covering it with glue, Tombow, and a sponge dober. Right, that should be, I think, he says. I only want a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Right, before I add that on, to the left, to the left, I do want it straight, so I'm just eyeballing it. And then cut off the excess. If you turn it over, you have the edge of the layer. Of course, you can still use the rest of that die cut. You can use it as a stencil or add it to a different card. Don't do what I do. I didn't actually use mine. <laughs> it's still on the off cut bin. So I just wanted a hint of it. That's fine. And then we can do some stamping. So celebrate along the bottom with gray granite. Do that three times. Sorry if you can see my head.
up. There we go. Now we get them up in there. I need more blue. <laughs> no, it's gone. Oh, that one fills loads. We have about four on the go. So the layer is one centimeter or three eight. Yeah, three eighths of an inch smaller than the card front. And then the mat is three millimeters or an eighth of an inch bigger than the layer. So that's gonna get added on. Need you all. Ah. <coughs> so this distress gold as well is retiring. Now we have our. Did I put you in the national? Oh wow! I did. I did. I did. Okay. So this one is double dimensional. Just because I like the layers. So two together. Two. And then this one is going to go on top. I forgot to add some ribbon. Silly me. Get a. Gingham. <laughs> ribbon. <laughs> to be fair, I um on the original, I did put this in last. <laughs> and what I did was, where's the mini glue now? I tucked it in. That's why it's only it's, there's only one side that you can see. I'll do the same because now I've got my um, dimensionals in the way. Just tuck it under, and it's like it's always been there. It's not gonna use up a lot of ribbon though that I need to use up. <laughs> oh, one inch. <laughs> right, that's done. I'm gonna add these on with another dimensional. Finish up with where's the best day ever? Right there. That's gonna go underneath. Try and make it straight ish. Mm, did you move? It's fine, it's floating. So I'm just finish up with some of the gold. Because vellum is like, it takes longer to dry. That's why it keeps moving. And I do like cutting into my die cuts just to No, I think I put you in there because you're bigger. 
that one and last die cut and then finish up with some embellishment this flat adhesive back pearls are carrying over so I'm just gonna add three of those which is one here Something has to hide, of course. And if you want more, you can use the Peeps Perlash Enamel Effects Basics just to add a bit more or add some more pearls if you want. But I'm just going to check if that's dried on top. It's okay. I do make them peaky just because <laughs> why are you laughing? PK one, two, three, and then I think I did loads on the top here. Ooh yeah. One, two, three, that's really peaky. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five and that needs something else there. Nine. Because in uh, Nicole's card she did do some ink blending I'm done there we go I'll just wait for the video to recover is it coming back I don't think so So, there we are. I think I need strapping up off the sofa. Right? Well, I, I was I wanted <laughs> to check to see if it wor was working because that camera clearly is not. So. So we will show you the, the finished project um, face to face. <sighs> there we go. So that was what Jay just created. Um, so yeah, that was what happened. And this one was the original. I did more um, <clears throat> paralyzed enamel effects on the top left here. But there we go. Right, so we're going to say goodbye. Yes. Uh, we did have loads excuse me loads of cards um to share but we'll do that another dark, we'll do that uh, on night, sunday so, um, um so when yes. we are <laughs> when we are um hopefully a bit more um connected we just need to have a play around i think with our setup at the moment um so thank you so much are we doing a zoom at all or are we going to leave yeah, that for the, yeah we'll, okay we're going to go over to zoom because that will be fine it's just so I've got a problem here. Um, so if you want to, um, I haven't popped a Zoom on there, so you might want to just quickly chat, Jay. I well, I might as well there. just show you the cards that uh, we created on Yeah, class. just quickly, and then we do them again on Sunday as yes. well. So this one was the cards. So if you are, um, if you book for the replay and you don't want to see them, close your eyes now. <laughs> this one was the fun fold, again, with a bit of watercoloring on the lovely and sweet image and then we went for a bit of ink blending using the vanilla flower and then the more ink blending 
and coloring with the stamping blends featuring the cacao 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 uh, <laughs> so yes replay is available on our website for that as well as the online coloring masterclass that i did last month uh, if you are um, wanting to win one of our cards for a chance to win do go back on last sunday's video uh, for a chance to win this card next sunday which barry created with the latte love so this one was the second card he did and that one was the first one yes so um lovely cool all right so the zoom link is in the chat right now so i'll just say quickly copy that if you want to come over and join us uh, but it is the same one we use every week so um once you copied it once it should be fine for you um but we will see you um on sunday and some stuff popping up on the screen so do remember to subscribe select all notifications like share how do you do a share symbol <laughs> and save <laughs> <laughs> so um there we go if you'd like to come and see and um, do all of that then please do but come and join us over on zoom in a second if you want to have a little chat with us if not we will see you again um Fun for Friday, um, fingers crossed, <laughs> who knows, and Sunday. Cool. Take we'll care, everyone. Thank Take you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.